Ah, and welcome to this edition of the Halcyon Let's Play. My name is Lauren Wisely. I'm going to be your host for this episode. Total Madness. Total Madness is a super fast, super hectic, top-down survival shooter with tons of weapons, great style and addictive gameplay. I like the girls with the thingy bob. Yes, dubstep. I, I do like dubstep, but let's just turn that down for a minute. Uh, released on the 27th of March 2020, developed and published by Star System Studios, currently priced at £2.39 down from £3.99. Never played this game before. So we're going to have to uh, bear with me on this one, because we will be finding out how this game plays as we go, it seems. So let's have a look, shall we? Oh, uh, there we go. Right, so new game. Yes, that's what I said. New game. Okay, took a while to load there for some reason. Yeah, that's uh, blah, blah, blah. Controls. Uh, shoot, weapons, flashlights. So again, got no point of reference with this game so far. Secondary weapons, so first and secondary, okay. Cool. How do I have to pick them? Even though there's only one of you. Okay, whatever. Uh, mini level mode. Okay. Ah. Okay, so the controls don't allow you to shoot in any direction at any one point. You have to point to the direction that you want it. Hmm. So I think controller is out. I don't think a controller is necessarily the way to go here. Uh, he said, really? Yes, I am using the keyboard. Okay, yep, so first of all, keyboard and mouse. For definite. Oh, and dearie me, I'm not a big fan of these graphics so far. There's no... There's no gunshots, apparently. Raw mouse to switch weapons. Um, not too sure why the ammo isn't going down. Oh, that is. Okay, so your handgun doesn't lose any bullets. Okay, I got you. I got you. Right. Uh, boom, boom. Oh, now the gunshots work. Okay, that's odd. Uh, the gameplay seems a little sluggish at the moment, I've got to be honest with you. The idea of it being fast-paced is a little bit not 100%, but, you know, maybe it'll pick up. Maybe it'll pick up. Uh, F for flashlight. Well, it's a nice touch, but what does it do? What, what, why, why do I need a flashlight? Shift to sprint. So that's running, that's oh, fast pace, is it? Okay, if you say so. Just for clarification, that is me being completely sarcastic. This doesn't feel all that fast paced so far, I must be honest with you. I think, uh, Bad Business had a bit more pace to it from the get-go. Oh. Oh, no. okay, fair enough. Control sticking there. Oh, and someone's now shooting me back. Now we have a gunfight. Lovely. Right. Let's see what happens when we take some damage. Level up. Wow, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Okay. Boom, boom. Yes, die, 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 die. Yes. Uh, there's a little baby one. Now, the conundrum all game is face. Do I shoot the little things or do I let them go? Oh, no, I've got to shoot them. Okay, cool. Just making sure. Didn't want to be heinous. The music has shifted to full on John Rambo, and I'm not talking about the movie, I'm talking about the game here. And for anyone that's played that game, you know it's utterly terrible. Switch back to the pistol. Let's just make sure there's nothing else that I need to uh, to gather. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, the little explosion graphics. Yeah, they're good. Uh, right. Let's go. 
So what we will just do, let's give this game the benefit of the doubt for the moment. Let's see if... Because it, it could be my computer. I'm never beyond palming it off to my computer being absolute... dog word. So let's see if that maybe increases the pace a little bit here. Because so far I don't know what they're talking about as far as surviving in the city, surviving in the forest, in another word. Okay, let's go with that one. That's the one I want. Can I have it please? Thank you. Oh, we've got to start again. Lovely. Um, it doesn't feel fast paced. That's uh, an odd word to use in a game where there's not a, a the, the fast pace notion isn't really hitting me so far. I like the graphics uh, in terms of some of the little touches, like there you see, for instance, as enemies take damage, they uh, get a little concaved. Um, boom, 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 boom. Bing, 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 bing. Zerg rushing me a little bit, which isn't, again, great, but you know, whatever. It's fine. Uh, controls are a little awkwardly placed. I don't like the uh, shift button being where it is. Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, I leveled it. Don't know what that means. I also don't know where I level up to, because as we just saw, to escape there, there's only two options. Resume or quit. So where do I level up? Not too sure. Uh, the UI is basic as hell. As you can see, green health and the uh, whatever the devil that is, I would imagine that's your level up bar. Yeah, every time you shoot it, it's, oh, at least it tells you how much progress you're making. That's eh, something some games don't do. Right, let's kill these things this time. This time I shall show no mercy. I should just assume anything that moves in this game I have to murder. Always a good, always a good lesson for kids. If it moves, kill it. The interface seems a little disjointed as well, like the bars down there look like really simplistic, like they were designed in paint. That graphic there looks three dimensional even though this all looks hand drawn, and then you've got this down here in the corner, which just doesn't match the motif if you ask me. Also don't know why the reticule needs to spin, but again, fine, you know, I'm not adverse to the odd, um, you know. Know, choice of you know, design, you know, you want to make your game look a little more flary. Okay, that's cool. Got no problems with that. Right. Bang, 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 explosions. The enemies explode as well. I've only just noticed that. Interesting. Okay. Don't know why they need to explode. Makes it more exciting, I suppose. Bang, 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 bang. This fast-paced shooter thing comes from, by the way. I would imagine this is down to the performance of my PC, because I have to think it's got to move faster than this. So take this with a pinch of salt that my PC is running probably, it's probably running this game a little bit more slowly than perhaps it should be. So just bear that in mind. But impressions. Let's give you some impressions while I not concentrate on the game as much. It's not the worst twin stick shooter game that I've played. Uh, it's priced probably about where it needs to be, considering that as you saw in the uh, menu level, there's probably going to be a fair amount of content in this game. Multiple levels, the controls are reasonably dynamic in the sense that you can play with a controller and with mice and keyboard. I would heartily recommend playing with mice and keyboard for obvious reasons in that the controller you can only point and shoot in one direction at a time. That seems like it's going to cause problems. Overall, graphically, it's inconsistent. Again, there's parts of it that look super detailed, and then there's parts of it that look cartoony. So, you know, clearly thrown together a little bit. Uh, the UI seems to be reasonably well designed uh, in the sense of everything is where it needs to be. Uh, I'm not sure why that happens. Look, if you watch right down here, look, the, the menu doesn't quite follow with the, it all, why is it doing that? What's this gap up here for? Why is that there? I don't know any of these things. Why? 
why? This is why I always... Games with good aesthetics do sucker me in, it's, there's no lie about that, but there's a reason, and it's usually because if, if a game is at least aesthetically pleasing, you can tell that they've at least considered why they've put what they've put in terms of how does this improve the gamer's experience. Does it improve it aesthetically in the sense of it's cool to look at, like some games have really cool backgrounds and some games have uh, some degree of UI uh, functionality that is just fun to mess around with? There's a house, why is that? That's a good question, so wait a minute, I'm walking around outside and now I'm in a house, which by the way, looks like it's big enough for maybe three people, total. It's very odd. Oh, it's, a little, it's a little maze there, I've got to, can I? Okay, do I have to? Okay, no, let's see, that. that's a nice little touch. You can hide under the tree, it's good. Um, but yeah, I mean, graphically it's inconsistent. I'm not going to say it looks absolutely god-awful. Um, in fact, the uh, the way that the top-down is designed... Oh, the rain graphics are starting to play havoc with my PC now. Right, let's... Uh, let's, uh, let's call it quits there then, shall we? Because I don't want to give it too bad a rap. But yeah, I mean... Graphically it's a little bit inconsistent, but I like the overall aesthetic of the game overall. I mean, you know... It does what it needs to do. I think this is one of those games where it's perfectly reasonable as a twin stick shoot, but nothing that's gonna blow your mind. There's nothing in here so far that leaps out to me in terms of character, in terms of overall presentation, in terms of gameplay that's mind blowing. It seems reasonably functional. Um, I'll take another run at this when I'm reviewing it in terms of shrinking it down to get the performance up, but you can get the gist. It's it's a standard twin stick shooter. Um, I'm not sure what this aesthetic has to do, and this is part of my problem with the aesthetics and the gameplay is that it's inconsistent in terms of it's not bad, it's not great, it's just kind of up and down. Um, but it, yeah, it's okay. It's all right. I'm not sure if I recommend it yet. I mean, price point wise, again, $3.99 probably seems I think you can get bad business for that, and bad business, I would argue, probably has a slightly tighter gameplay than this, and a slightly more unique take on the twin stick shooter genre than this, albeit that one was infuriating at times because of its functionality. This doesn't seem to have so many of those problems, albeit you see that there's there's some sticking issues. Um, and again, the graphic, just the, the thing that the enemies explode and the, the barrels explode in a weird way. Um, it's, 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 a it's a little bit thrown together. But otherwise, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with the game. Um, and I'll, I'll give it another run through and another proper play to see what the leveling up system does for me in terms of, right, uh, clearly the, the five, I would imagine, unlocks weapons because there's no stat screen to, to boost you up. So we'll, we'll have a mess around with the other weapons, see if that makes it more fun. And I'll report back another time or maybe even do my first ever second session of a Let's Play. Who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll push the button on that. So. In the meantime, though, thank you very much for watching this edition of The House and Let's Play. My name's been Lorne Risley, the host of the show. Please like, share, and subscribe, and check out some of the other content that I've been producing recently, including some of the other content that my friends and colleagues in the description below have been producing. I sincerely hope you're taking care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next episode of The House and Let's Play.